Okay, what's up guys? This is literally the third time I tried to make a video in the past five minutes and I kept pressing that stupid record button you see up there and I closed it twice. I had like five minutes of recording and I freaking closed it like an idiot. I said that today we are going to be making, um, we're going to be talking about two different decks. So the first one is this one. As you can see, it's a hog cycle. But instead of Fireball, which you might see a lot more often, we have the Poison. I know you don't see this that often, but with all the small troops around, like Goblin Gang, Skeletons, Minions, all that stuff, it's actually really good. You can even use it defensively against all the graveyards you're seeing. Poison on the fence. Works every time. And then just cycle back to it on offense. Um, you're always going to outcycle a graveyard deck with this deck, so there's no way to worry about using a Poison on defense. Um, the third deck is, I'm going to move this out of the way so I don't freaking click it again. It's going to be this deck. Um, uh, a popular YouTuber or some guy in the class community named Colton W83 has a deck just like this with the baby dragon instead of the ice spirit. It brings the cost up to 3.5 and, um, I, I like it, but I don't cycle fast enough. I, I love fast cycling decks. Because I love making different moves and just pulling faster and cycling back to, back to the cards that I need on defense or offense a lot faster than they can, right? So um, I made this deck from scratch when I won the, the Witch Challenge. I didn't even watch his video. I haven't watched any really. And it was basically from what I was seeing in Grands. And um, as you can see here in my tournament log, like I've absolutely been killing it. Um, I think before these 12s over here there was like 11 another 12 like it, it if you know how to play these cards and how to defend properly against what, what what you're seeing in grands it's really easy to win so you see 12 12 8 11 12 with this deck right here i haven't switched it up at all for the past week um then this deck i just copied but first deck i'm going to be going over is going to be this one and it's the one I used in ladder to push up to here, my new PV, 5850. Um, I wish I had the replay, but I did do a couple team battles after that and all, so it's not in my log anymore. But um, I'm going to be going over it because I did do some matches. Now, all these losses here, it's not like I actually lost. Um, I let them beat me because I wanted to drop, but then I said, fuck it, let's go back up. <laughs> so... Two hounds managed to beat them both, like pretty brutal. Um, I know you guys are seeing a lot of three musks, and it's a tough matchup, but um, I did beat it, and I beat it pretty easily. Like I still had two k on each of my towers. Um, so let's just hop into it. And I'll put it at one speed, and I'll go over it. And I'll go over a Hound deck, and then I'll do a Grand Battle with the deck to show you guys how that's used. So, my starting hand's like this. You either want to... When you have a starting hand like this, you either want to cycle Skeletons or cycle Archers. But since Archers are, you could say, a bigger investment, since they're 3 Elixir, I would start off with Skeletons. Um, ideal hand, ideal starting hand for this deck, I mean... I want skeletons, obviously. I don't mind having hog because I'm not afraid to sending a, na a naked hog in. Like I know there's a lot of tornadoes uh, these days, but I can outcycle their tornado with this deck. So I I'm, I would be mad if they tornado and get the king tower activated because it's a lot harder on the hog deck then. But I don't mind since I can outcycle their tornado, and I've beaten a ton of people who have done that before. So. Um, continuing with the replay. Yeah, so I cycle skeletons. Another placement can be in front of the king tower, so if he puts something down, they get to it faster. Uh, I see that I don't have hog in my rotation, so I play a knight to get my poison in rotation. I don't want to let him pump up. And I poison, I'm, I'm trying to get everything before the poison too, so before the pump and the tower, in case he puts skeletons over there or something else over there, I can get more value. Over here, I see the three muskies, and I did such a stupid move. 
as you can see, it does not work. Usually that's the perfect placement for it to work right where I placed it there. But, but the pump was still alive and I thought it would, I thought it would get destroyed quicker so that the, the muskie wouldn't um, get blocked by it. But it ended up still blocking the muskie. So now I have to deal with muskies on both sides. He set up for his push and I have archers going down. So whenever you see three muskies, play passively. Start something in the back. That's why I like this deck with archers more than musketeers. Since you can split it. You can sort of split your defense on both lanes, not just one lane. Um, continuing, I wait. I just keep waiting. Guys, not at the bridge yet. I want to save up. Put knight on those two, and then I save my uh, skeletons for this one over here. And I want to take out the pump again, since I haven't done too much damage on that side. I'm not afraid to push the other side at this point. I know he has goblin gang or skeletons or something, so I put my hog and I put my poison on the pump and just before the tower. Since if he had put Goblin, shit, pardon me. If he had put Goblin Gang, um, it would have taken it out. Plain and simple, right? And more value for me. Now, <sighs> clearly, he doesn't know how to play. Because why would you split your push when you have a full health knight coming? It's way harder for me, after I just used the Hog Poison on your tower, to defend a full HP knight and hog coming down my lane than to just tornado a plain hog to my king tower, as you'll see I do now. Easy. And I just pull up the ice spirit. So his mistake there was just playing that like crap. Now I get a free hog to the tower, and I get like no damage done to my tower. So, and again, I've done damage to that tower, but it's so early in the game, or well, I mean, we've gone almost two minutes, but... It's still pretty early in this game. Double elixirs when it starts to get uh, pretty um, hectic. That can still afford to put a hog and split his uh, split his pushes up. So I put the tornado. You always want to get it and clip it right on the edge. Now we hit double OT. I did have my log, but I had to stall them a bit because um, I was focused on defending the other side too. And now I see his three muskies and we're at a huge deficit. We poison a bit late, so they're going to still have a bit of health. Um, split our archers again. Knight on that and Ice Spirit so that we can freeze it and take it out before they do too much damage to my knight. Skeletons right on there. Towers targeting it. Perfect defense there. Now I know he has Goblin Gang, so we put another poison. And this is why I love poison is that, guys. Because it's just, you cannot put your stuff in the poison. Um, fireball just drops. After the fireball drops, you're good to go. You can put whatever you want, right? But poison is a whole different story. Again, night, uh, ice spirit takes care of everything. Simple. It's just the defense is just simple. And over here, I know that all he has left is goblin gang. So poison, predictive, all that stuff. <sighs> Worked perfectly. Now, um... We're going to go on to, see, I don't, I don't think you guys are seeing much of this guy up here. I don't think you guys are seeing much of this deck up here. So I'm going to show the replay of this one, this guy right here. Since I, I know you guys are probably going to be seeing a lot more of these types of decks with the Lava Loon. Lava Loon's pretty strong. People hate it. Um, I don't see much Tornado in it. I see Log. Uh, and you can replace the Pump with tombstone if you'd like and there's also mega minion stuff dragon but you can put dragon in so yes he's a level 13 like me this starting hand is just like what the fuck uh -huh. so as soon as he starts his hand in the back um we put the uh, ice spirit on the wrong side but the mistake here is, I, well, it's not really a mistake, but I didn't know if he had Goblin Gang or Minions, for example. So I took the safety shot and put Poison to take anything he puts out. Because I know that all they have is a bunch of small troops. That's how freaking Hound deck works. Archer's over here, and he just used a ton of Elixir. He does not have enough. And guys, 
here's the trick. See how that balloon came on the left side of the hound from this angle? It's the left side. If it, if it comes on the right side, you want a tornado up, back up to the bridge, and put an ice spirit, for example. If the balloon comes like this, this is the perfect opportunity. Everything you want as a hog deck or any tornado user, pull the balloon right on the edge of the shadow. That's where you want to pull it to your tower. That's where you want to pull it to the king tower. So I play it. I pull it right to the middle, right from that shadow you guys saw. Activation of king tower. No shots off on the tower of mine, my crown tower. And we're looking golden. So now, perfect opportunity to push. Look at this. I pump. Uh, he has a pump. He has to put baby dragon. Like, this is not going well for him at all. Like, the cycling that I'm doing is extremely fast, and he can't keep up with it. This is also another trick. You see how the minions are coming from there? Skeletons, you can, you can split them wherever you want, but just split them in the middle so that the minions follow t uh, kill two of them. And then start following the other two towards the other tower so that you can split up his push. So take a look at what I do. I put them up there. They kill two of them, but then they start following the other two. Because if you leave minions on your tower, that's a guaranteed at level 13, at least like, let me see, like, I, I don't know, a couple hundred damage. I don't know exactly, but that's that's guaranteed. So um, by by stopping that, and now he had Tornado, which I was pretty confused about. I was like, wow, what the fuck? But, um, so he has that. But at this point, I don't really notice the Tornado. I just kind of go like, oh, wow, okay. And my, I know that Baby Dragon is going to destroy my freaking Archers. So I have to play an Ice Spirit and a Knight. Because if that Baby Dragon's on my Archers, three shots are dead. If it was level eight, two shots are dead. So I had to play a bit passively there. I know he doesn't have Tornado in his hand. And I know I'm not going to poison since that would be overcommitting. Um, I thought these archers would take out the tower, but he has level 13 tower. So king tower activated. So I want to make sure I get the king tower with the poison too, in case we ever somehow go into overtime. Even though at this point, I know that I have the match. So we poison here again. Just want to get rid of all of the, the stuff. Um, Hog's going to get to the tower. That's going to take that tower out, guys. With the max hog and everything, this season I'm going to be pushing. I know it's a month away, but this season I'm going to be pushing for... Um, what's it called? Uh, this season I'm going to be pushing for 6k. So over here, um, if if we were still tied and it was a close game, that was a good play that I did with the balloon. You don't want to just pull the balloon in the middle because it will come back to your tower with all those troops uh, blocking the towers from shooting the balloon. You want to pull the balloon back to the king tower so that it's not going to go back to your tower. Like, I don't I don't care if the other troops do damage. I can just poison as you see I do here. But that balloon would have been a huge problem for me. So I had to make sure I don't do that. Um, log here. Everything's done. I just have to poison for the win. And guys, that is how you deal with lava, lava loon. It's... Um, if he was maxed, actually maxed, it would have been a bit more difficult. If you face someone who actually knows what they're doing, then it's a bit more difficult to actually defend against these. But um, that's the general idea of how to do it. So now I'm going to be talking about this deck right here. So it's a graveyard cycle with the Night Witch, Executioner, Ice Golem. I don't have a Knight because Ice Golem... See, the knight might follow things around, and the knight pulls every... See, if they have a splash yard, they usually have tornado, right? So they can tornado your knight to the tower, they can tornado everything in the tower and just kill it off. While the ice golem, you can put it at the bridge, you can make everything follow. It's, it's, it's just a whole different... It's just a whole different way of playing without the knight. And if I put the knight in, it goes up to 3.3, I think? Yeah, 3.3. So, um... I just prefer the Ice Golem since it's it's such a good, cheap tank. And if they have Skarmy or something or uh, Goblin Gang, Minions, you can always pull them. You can always defend with the Ice Golem. It's only two Elixir. It's not a big investment. So it's, 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 it's not a big loss if you lose the Ice Golem. Um, now, the Knight, though, is... A big loss because it's one of your main defending troops if you put it in his deck or main offensive graveyard pushes. 
Now, we're going to go into a match, a grand match. Um, the beginning, we might not face um, tough people, uh, but it, it might give a good sense of how this deck is played. If you face heavy beatdown decks, you always want to put the pressure on, but you have to know when you have to stop. So I'm waiting for him to... I'm going to put my, niche, my, my witch right there. And he might have... We're actually just going to go on the offensive right now. Ice Golem. Um, like, yeah. Uh, no, I don't want to. Yeah, we're going to get some good damage off. I was thinking of Tornadoing, but then he overcommitted with that log. We didn't overcommit. He had to He had to log. So we're just going to put everything here. Tornado this to our King Tower. Oh, screw off. That's the placement you guys want. That's the placement you guys want, like right where I put it. But um, it didn't work. But you see how we're already back to our graveyard. And he just used all his counters. He's using some retarded ass deck, so I'm not surprised. But there we go. Okay. Yeah, he has scar me, but that's not going to do anything. It's not going to do anything. Night Witch is over there. He's going to put minions or fireball. Yeah, this is. I'm gonna do another grand match after this to show you guys how it's actually done because this is not like you don't face many royal giants in grand challenges. It's just not. It's just not something you see. Like it's it's not bad. It's just not something you'd face. So I got nothing to really play here, and I know I'm ahead in elixir. If worst comes to worst, I can just tornado all his troops down to there. We're gonna put an ice golem there just to tank up some damage. And we're going to start our night. Yeah, we're going to freaking do that. <laughs> I was thinking of starting on the other side. So one bat distracts the mega minion when it flies towards the other side. But um, look at the night witch just destroy that, guys. Like, holy crap. That's freaking insane. And we're going to poison everything here. Perfect. 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 That's another tower. Or so I hoped. Oh, yeah, we did. We got it. Buddy. Oh, my God. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> oh, my God, guys. I'm sorry, but... Why would you play a Royal Giant when you're getting screwed in the ass on your King Tower? Like, let's see where he's at. I'm guessing... Yeah, like... Now that all the good people, or I should say the people who are used to grands are like maxed out, they still do some, but not as often. And so you're facing a bunch of new people who haven't done grands as much. And so now that I'm getting a bit more back into grands whenever I have time, um, we're facing more of these people. So I'm going to go into another one. This might be the last one I do. Hopefully this is a good match. And it shows it. Like, I, I want to show you guys what I would do against the tank. But um, I don't know if we'll see one. Oh, perfect. Okay, so over here, I want to start my Netwitch in the back. I want to get the bats to spawn. I want to get bats to spawn and spawn and spawn to take that out. And then what I would do... Perfect. So I want to tank with the ice golem. And then I want to put this here. And I want to wait. I want to wait until they get close and then we're going to turn out everything together okay yep and that's how you don't take that much damage from all that we took like nothing and he did a full golem push so now we're back to our win condition oh okay so I know he probably has Skeletons or Goblin Gang or Night Witch. So we're going to go in with the Graveyard, and we know we have to Poison too. So we're going to wait. Now we're going to Poison. Got him. He has to play something else. Log came down way late. Everything's already taken out. <sighs> now if he had started off with the Pump at the beginning of the game, which I doubt he had, you never want to start off with the Golem at the beginning of the game. Like, that's just... And here he goes again. And we're almost hiding the elixir, I'm guessing. But this shouldn't be too hard to defend. So now I'm going to start off with the Executioner. 
and I, I, I'm like 200% sure he has lightning. So we're going to put our night witch down, give him, give him, he's going to be like, oh, wow, look at my lightning opportunity. He's going to lightning and then golem. All right. So he's being a smart man, but we just took all of his shit out. So don't lightning, but guys, we're going to look after this and we're going to see if he had lightning. And I bet you any money this man has lightning, but he knows he's not going to take it out. So look at that. Oh, buddy, 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 I told you he has lightning. <laughs> Guys, we just took all his shit out. Guys, oh my god. Yeah, see, you see what I'm talking about? Guys, this deck is just so good at cycling. You can cycle so fast. This is going to be a three crown. This is going to be a three crown against a three crown deck. So, I've been doing this since I started with this deck. Just three crowning, winning, all this stuff. You get used to it once you play it more. And it's just, it's just crazy. Like, these are three crown decks. And, like, they should be three crowning people with these decks. That's what they're made for. Golem, Lightning, Night Witch. All of these are huge troops to put in the back and expensive troops. So, like... I might do one more. Yeah, we're just gonna do one more. Um, oh, I, I just wanna. So we saw a tank. We saw, um, whatever the hell the other guy had. Some stupid goblin barrel stuff. Um. Okay, so this might be. Um. This might be a. We're going to have to defend against this. Lumberjack's annoying, guys. But um, sometimes pushes that I do, if I see them really commit into another lane, like if I see them really commit, I'll just do this push right here, uh, Night Witch Graveyard, and it sometimes gets them really well. Like they're not expecting it, and you see if the Night Witch gets to the tower. Yeah, there we go. She's just, just going to go ham on the tower. See, you guys? Thanks. Thumbs up. So that's like a freaking tower right there. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Thumbs up. We're just going to tank with this. And okay, I know he has a golem. That's obvious. Okay, so now we're going to go here, here. And he has Mega Minion. We're going to poison all of this. And that's like a second tower. So you see, guys, like, it's 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 all about thumbs up. It's it's all about, like, knowing your deck. And, like, I made this deck, so it's it's not hard for me to know how I would want to play it. But, um, okay, you pump up. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to three crown me. So we're going to just go in again. Yep. <laughs> yeah, all right, bro. Uh, okay, so you guys might be thinking why I woke up the King Tower. Like, oh, that's a dumb move. But it's a golem deck, right? So if, if we ever need to go into OT, then I'm... I'm ready to get that extra damage, right? So put this here, put this here. There we go. And the fence. Everything just got taken out. Good game. Good game to you, sir. Did you have a good time getting screwed up? No, you did not, but whatever. So that's that, guys. Now we're going to open up our clan chest, uh, crown chest on video. So 3-0, and oh, and it's pretty much been like that the entire time. Like, that's a three crown deck. Again, like, Grands is full of golems and other graveyard decks. Man, 
I wish we could face, or I wish I was showing you guys how to face another goal, um, another graveyard deck. This is a fast cycle deck. So, where, when, when you face another graveyard deck, especially with, for example, a giant as a tank, it's going to be a lot tougher to stop since you have more small troops. That's what makes the deck cheap. And they usually pair it up with a poison. Unless you're facing a really skilled player, they won't poison unless they know you have something to poison or you, they, unless they know you have it in rotation. That's your only counter. Now, the poison is your best friend, you could say, in another graveyard matchup. I don't know how many times I've had to poison on defense because you only take maximum maybe 200, 300 max. I've had times where I've only taken like 60 or like one hit from a from a skeleton. That's how that's that's nothing. Because I've poisoned on the fence. They it's it's also funny because sometimes they'll think, oh wow, I have such a good push. They're gonna I'm gonna get everything they put in there with a poison. So they poison too. They're out of elixir, and all you have to do is poison and put like a night witch or skeletons for the giant, and it takes everything out. Then you're set up for a counter push, they got no elixir, they're done, you know? So it's 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 all about it's all about good defense with this deck, and and once you once you defend well, then you can think about offense. So, um, and and watch out for the lightnings. You don't want to give too much lightning value. So I always put the night witch and the executioner to make them think like, wow, that's a good lightning. So they lightning, but right before they lightning, I always make sure to put my eyes go him down so it tanks for the lightning. My my night witch won't die. My uh, so she can keep doing damage. My executioner is not dead because of a lightning. They have to either log, or I can just tornado and executioner kills everything. So it's it's all about like just just outplaying them with with what you have and out cycling them. That's the whole point of a cycle deck. Both of these. Um, but yeah, I think I got everything. I think I got at the end there room at the um. I guess. Uh, what's up, man? I mean, okay. Um, yeah, I guess that's all for the video right now. Um, I will open this up. 600 this. And we're still stocked on gold, guys. Like, I'm just going to keep saving up again. I might do another... Um, I might do an upgrading spree on video or something when I do some more grands, get some more upgrades in. But um, I'm not going to waste my freaking gold on this, this, and these useless rares I'm never going to use. Like just not so if i get uh these two minor electro wizard ice wizard maybe um some rare upgrades like baby dragon all that once, once i accumulate enough i might do just an upgrading video with a couple chest openings i don't know but um yeah that's that's about it so that's done with the video i'm sorry there's no music but it doesn't work for me because there's some stupid problem with when i put try to put music so don't freaking think i'm stupid but yeah so thanks for watching guys and i hope you learned uh something and it helps you in ladder and uh grands if you do any so peace guys see you next time